So, the pre-patch is here and Shadowlands is finally ending. But alongside the entire new UI that broke half my add-ons and the many ways you can customize it, as well as the huge talent overhaul, there are a few minor changes that you might not know about. So let's go over them and talk about about 10 secret changes as well. Of course the new talent system is the biggest change, but did you know that you can directly save presets and you can import them from other players as well and export your own too if you want to share them with a friend? There's also a search function so you can look up specific talents and you can change talents anywhere without having to be in a rested area and you can even do it while flying and mounted. Combat targeting is a cool new feature. Instead of tap targeting, it automatically targets the enemy in front of you and swaps if you move your camera to have another in the center instead. You can still tap to get fixed on a target, but it's cool with combat action cam as well, especially for melee, giving a more action combat RPG experience. Then there is also a hold to cast setting, great if you have a one button rotation like a frost mage in classic, so you can just hold that button and it recasts automatically without having to spam it. If you didn't log onto a character for a long time and they are lost somewhere, you get a button that teleports you back to your capital, so to Stormwind or to Orgrimmar. Druid's Tree Farm finally got a new model. Although it's a bit buggy since weapons clip through the model, but it looks good though, and you can still do a Teldrassil cosplay with it if you want to. Mages, Rogues and Priests are now available for every race, it will be pretty weird to see Tower and Rogues. The new bags are great and you can finally combine them into one, but you can also track up to 8 currencies in the bag now and you can assign each bag for a specific type of item as well, as finally having a search bar too. The loading screen for old zones got stretched to be full screen, at least the ones in the open world, old instances or arenas or closed areas for example remain the same but they look a bit weird since they just got stretched so everyone is fatter but at least there are no more black bars on the left and right of most of those. There are new icons for elites on the map as well as new icons for herbs and minerals on the minimap and you can see the transmog mounts as well. New profession icons for all of them apart from archaeology of course and a brand new UI for them too and you can also track recipes and you can see how much it costs to craft them if you have an add-on like Auctionator that tracks the gold for each specific part and then adds them up and tells you how much it would cost you to craft that specific item. And there are also slots here for profession accessories and tools that will be available during Dragonflight. Group loot got activated in all Shadowlands raids already and they are all fated now so there is no more personal loot and you can roll on gear instead, which feels better in a way than just looting gold from 6 bosses in a row, at least now you can see the loot from drops and have a chance at getting multiple items from the same boss too. Resurrection Sickness now is reworked to just last 1 minute instead of 10, but breaks more of your durability. Good change if you want to get somewhere faster and you know where the graveyard is, so you can speedrun areas, better than using the 10 minute one and then logging off. They also added a new loot animation, looking pretty damn good, and I finally got this damn mount after 50 years of farming, and they also added the 500 special mount that is finally a unique model. The barber shop is now free, it used to cost a little bit of gold, but now you can go ahead and change everything for free, so you can have a new look every time you do another dungeon. And finally there is solo rated arena. It's not 2v2 or 3v3 yet, it's the solo shuffle, but at least you can queue for some arena without having to search for a team for 5 hours and then disband after your first lost match. It works with 6 players playing 6 rounds and getting shuffled every round and the round ends when someone dies, so you get rating based on how many rounds you won as well as honor and conquest from them. It'd be nice to have solo queue for 2v2 and 3v3 and rated VGs as well eventually. And that's about it, let me know if you found another little change that I didn't mention, and what is your favorite one so far? Thanks for watching.